Okay, um, this is the 85-323 Euro with the V8. Um, this is the shifter with the E30 linkage in it. That's neutral. That's third. So the E36 linkage is just a little bit longer, which will make basically that neutral all the way up third. And then down there will be fourth right now. Reverse, first, third, and fifth only are accessible. Handbrake's good. Euro clock. It's got the German check panel, which is kind of neat. Um, it's got the dual stage fog light switch, which is unique to the model. Uh, this cluster, I think that green applique is after the fact, but the leaders per 100 kilometers, that's Euro. Uh, let's get crank windows. <clears throat> In the back, there's a rear sunshade, which I really wanted to keep for my M3, but that goes with the car, obviously. Uh, seats are in decent shape. There's the big three and a half inch map. Here's the four liter uh, intake manifold with the throttle body on it. Uh, this is what you put on to get the extra power. Um, I don't think there's any special tune or anything required. Uh, it's just gonna start it up here for you. Uh, the brakes are connected. They're just not bled. The clutch works. It just needs to be bled. The tachometer doesn't work because there's a special board you need to buy from Gary Gestick that works with a four-cylinder coating plug. And uh, yeah, right now it just it's hooked up enough to, to fire up basically, and that's it. But it sounds good. Also, the uh, fuels and liters on this thing. I'll do a little walk around here on the outside so you can see it. Oh, it's a little windy, sorry if the audio gets bad. Um, there's some damage on the door card. Uh, center console. Isn't the it might be in the trunk, I'm not sure. Uh, I do think it has one. I don't think it has another dash panel. my winter tires um, but it does actually come with a set with good rubber um, not like I said the ones that are mismatched and crappy it will come with a better set than that uh, the body straight the exhaust like I said there's no gaskets in the collectors so that's why it's so loud let's get the euro bumpers those are in good shape uh, it does have a dash panel. some of this stuff is for my other cars um, yeah a lot of this stuff is separate does have a stud conversion, so it doesn't use bolts anymore, it uses wheel studs. A little dirty, it's been sitting outside. I'm going to set this down for a second so I can take the hood off. Alright, so there is the V8. Um, this is just enough to get it running. Uh, this is the main wiring from the C101, which is a square style. That's the engine harness there. A couple more of these are their tack oil pressure, fuel economy, vehicle speed signal, stuff like that. Um, this was just enough for basically fuel pump ignition, main power. So it does have a rad in it. This is a E28 535 radiator. Let's see if it's, it's wet in there. That's where it's leaking. This is the coolant overflow bottle that's going to have to be used. This goes to here, and then this just to go back around to this hose right here. This is the V8 tank. Um, it doesn't clear with the hood, so I can't use that. Uh, it's a Euro car, so the battery's up front, not in the trunk. The engine computer and harness fit through the firewall back there. Let me set up here so I can start it. 
has a pretty fancy skid plate on it that was there when I bought it. I'll try to think. Crawl underneath the zero a little bit. So the car is pretty solid. Um, you can see the exhaust. That's the. I don't know. It it works. It's nothing pretty, but uh, it's a good exhaust. The suspension's all all good. You can see the Voigtland springs and the Bilstein struts. Um, I don't know. It's a good car. It's just like, like I said, with the M3, I don't really have time to 